Okay, another quick demo video on um, splicing wires together, multiple wires using wire nuts. So we have some ground wires here we're going to splice together. We have some just insulated neutral wires we're going to splice together. Um, the concepts here are the same for any wires you splice together that we'll do in the lab. Um, so we'll start with the, or the grounds here. We have special ground wire nuts that have a hole in, in the middle there. And on the inside, it's actually a tapered um, wire nut in there that as the tighter you get, the tighter it pulls these wires in and twists them around each other. And that's the same for all these wire nuts. Okay. So uh, using these ground wire nuts, um, the, the theory here, the, the key here is that you keep one wire longer than the other, two or three. But the ones that you have... You want to keep them the same height, okay? The ones that are uh, shorter. So you don't want this to be tapered with three separate heights, right? You just want one longer and then the rest at the same height. Because you want those wires to twist together at the same height. Then we'll just pass this over top, all of them. I'm trying to keep those wires from moving while we twist. And might need to get some torque on that. So we have our three wires here. One is longer coming out. The other two are just in there going to be wound around the, the middle one. And what I want to see in the lab is really twisted wires outside of that wire nut, okay, to ensure that you have them mechanically twisted together. Okay. Inside there, of course, tough to see because of the light, but you'll have the wires twisted together fairly tightly. And if we were to take this apart then just to show you, that's the idea of what's going on inside that wire nut. They're all twisted together very tightly. And then of course this end you would attach to your light or your switch or your receptacle. Because all the grounds will be tied together in your boxes. Now let's say we have three or two or you know some quantity of other wires, neutrals in this scenario. Um, again, we don't have a single one coming out. We have them all together under the wire nut. So we want to keep them all at the same height. So when I put them in there, I want them all the same height because I want them all to twist together at the same point. Then I can take my wire nut and do the same thing. And it's helpful just to keep these as close to each other as possible. And I'm going to again just torque on this until I get that wire nut to really start twisting the actual individual wires all the way out to the insulation um, like that. And again, on the inside, right, you're going to have a nice, hopefully tight, solid connection. Okay. And there's this mechanical twisting of it is actually going to keep those together plus the mechanical you know pressure on this in there it just bites into and pulls those in as, it, as you tighten it that's going to keep that connected okay just a quick demo on wire nuts it's very important that your twisting comes out of the wire nut it's very important that you put them in the wire nut at the same height okay or the same you know a point that ends or at the same level um, and for grounds it's nice to have one of these with you know a single one coming out because usually you want to put them all together and have one come out and connect somewhere okay so just some demos on the ground wires and neutral or other insulated conductor splicing